was a foster home and Tufi was my foster child. Then I met Ndafa, who's the mother of Tufi. We're two women from two completely different cultures, raising one young lady to be ready for the world as it is. I grew up in a very religious family, but I would say that I'm more a spiritual person than a religious person. Ndafa is a very, very religious person. She's probably one of the women with the strongest belief that I know. When Tufilma was a baby, when she was eight months old, she became very sick and she was in a coma for a month. And when she woke up after the coma, she was paralyzed in one half of her body. The doctor told me that she will never walk again. The doctor asked, what did you take to Firwa? Why is she now okay? I said, I didn't take to any doctor. I, have, I only have one doctor. Jesus Christ is my doctor. I only take mm. to Jesus, that's it. Ndafa just brought this feeling of home into the house. Like something was missing until Ndafa came. Tufi is always singing. Ndafa is always singing. <laughs> Tufi is always laughing. Ndafa is always telling stories and making jokes. I love her stories. I think when it comes to big choices regarding to feel what we talk about it. Everything has to be upfront and straight, no secrets. I've got a full-time employment and I earn a decent salary so that I can look after us. During the corona time, Ndafa could focus on doing the mommy stuff and that was beautiful for me. The three of us together offers safety and security and consistency to, to feel what. So it gives her a safe and secure environment. It's an equal exchange of energy. It's not always necessarily about money, but what you bring into it. I don't need to adopt her. If I have a good relationship with her mother and the rest of her family, there's no reason that I need to own her. I don't need to have it on paper. So we've got kinship now, yeah. where Ndafa also had to write a letter to state that she allows me to have kinship of Tufilwa. Tufi was already in Dachberg school, so we didn't have to change anything there, although we are talking about maybe changing that at a later date. I think we're creating like our Tufi, own like culture. Tufi now, she does understand that she wants very well. That's what my mother call it. Tufiwa, Tufiwa, you are a vambo outside and a boa inside. <laughs> <laughs> my parents are here in town. They live on their own. Um, we live separately. I know Ndafa's parents are in Komastal. We don't live together, but we spend a lot of time together. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going to get my, stay in my grandmother's house. Yeah, but I'm coming <laughs> with you. <laughs> I lived in Cape Town for 11 years and then four years ago I came back here and I'm not planning on going anywhere because now we've got this safe, happy, secure space. To feel what does Afrikaans in English, because I speak Afrikaans, my family speaks Afrikaans to, to feel what. But then Dafa actually recently started teaching me Oshivambu. Well, she, get, she doesn't understand, she'll just get lost. <laughs> <laughs>